Hello, I'm Jody Brenner Ginsburg of Ginsburg Law Offices. Today I want to talk to folks who have unfortunately sustained injury when they fell off a ladder uh, or fell off, you know, boxes that were stacked up high. The point is you have fallen and you have sustained an injury. And a lot of times when I've got many cases where folks fall from or fall off a roof, whatever the case may be, immediately you know, oh my gosh, I have just broken my leg uh, or my leg is killing me. And sometimes you're in shock when this happens. But the reality of it is you probably or possibly have hurt more than just your leg. And in fact, you may have pain radiating up into your back. Or maybe you hit your head and you don't even remember hitting your head. So what you need to do in these situations, of course, once you get immediate treatment and usually an ambulance is going to be called or you're going to be taken to the emergency room. And as hard as this may be, you need to be as clear headed as possible. Um, about what your injuries are. While your leg may be absolutely killing you, and that is what the doctors in the emergency room are paying attention to, you need to be as best as possible clear to them that it's not only your leg that's bothering you, but it's also potentially your left elbow, your low back. You think you might have hit your head. And again, it's not about making things up. It's about being truthful about what body parts are hurting you at the time. The reason it's so important to include everything, even if it's your little pinky finger, along with your leg and your back, don't fail to tell them about the little pinky finger because that pinky finger could be broken. But if you do not list all of the injuries or places you're having pain initially, what we see is the insurance company coming back down the road when now you've been referred to a doctor to treat your leg, but you're saying, yeah, well, my leg hurts, but so does my back. Oh, well, you didn't mention your back to the emergency room doctors. We're not going to authorize treatment for your back or your pinky finger or your elbow. So as best you can, always, always, always tell the nurses and the doctors several times if possible so that it gets into your medical notes what body parts are bothering you, where you have pain. You may not have broken any finger. But if your pinky hurts, then tell them, okay? If your elbow hurts, tell them. Because it allows us, when we get into your case, to explore all of the necessary medical treatment for you based upon the body parts that have been injured. And once you leave the emergency room and go see another doctor, even if he's there only to treat your leg, make sure you tell that doctor, again, that you may have elbow pain, pinky pain, back pain, so that it's also in that doctor's records as well. Again, this is about helping you, and you've got to help yourself by listing all of the body parts. If you have questions about this, need help with your case, I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please give me a call at 770-351-0801. Thank you.